Hi, my name is Tom Soden from Sweet and Chili, and today I'm going to show you a little adaptation in the classic old fashioned, utilizing some of the new barware that's available from Genway. Now, I'm going to make this in one of my favorite pieces of kit from the new range, which is the Japanese style mixing glass, which is made in glass rather than crystal, which just makes it a little bit more cost effective uh, for the use in a normal bar. Now, whenever you're making stir drinks, it's important to fill your mixing glass full of ice prior to preparing. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a duo of bitters, slightly different to the classic style of old fashioned. I'm gonna add some ginger bitters. And I'm also gonna add some American old fashioned bitters. Now I'm gonna add five mil of sugar syrup. And the base of this spoon is about 2.5, so it's going to be two spoonfuls of that. Next up, we're going to add our booze. I'm going to add some rye whiskey, and I'm going to use the new Gemware style conical measure, and 50 mils of this going in. Now, as you can see, I'm using one of the new Japanese style Genware spoons, a teardrop end, which allows a nice little bit of counterbalance to the spoon itself. And with its tapered in end, it means that it moves effortlessly around the outside of the glass. Now, when you're stirring, your fingers should be staying in the same place, and it's just the movement of the fingers rather than the whole wrist itself. And we're gonna stir it around until we get our desired dilution. As you can see, it creates a nice little bit of theatre when you're working behind the bar to be making your drinks in these Japanese style mixing glasses. I'm gonna taste for dilution. And then I'm gonna strain this into one of the new rocks glasses also available from Gemware, which has a beautiful crystalline style interior. Full of ice. And then using the Julep Hawthorne strainer, also available, placing that on top, it gives me a really, really nice seal on the inside of the glass, ensuring that no ice will come out. Then finally, to garnish, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the zest of a lemon on the top using the new Genware knives and chopping board. Using the flat of my hand like so, I'm able to plane the knife across the top of the lemon to get myself a nice thin zest, which I'm then going to zest over the top of the drink and then trim down and then place that into the glass. There we go. I love a little twist on an old fashioned.